I'm doing this video mostly for myself to track my progress. I'm going to be starting on finasteride tonight. I'm 40 years old. About a year ago when I was 39, I noticed some hair started to go bye-bye. One lone hair, like right around here, maybe less than an inch in front of my natural hairline, or maybe my unnatural hairline. <laughs> and then last night I took a picture to track my progress also, and I didn't even know I was starting to lose up in this area here. Um, so that was not a nice surprise. I'm only going to be taking finasteride because I want to see how well that works. I'm not going to be using any other kind of shampoo or any other kind of pills at this point. So this is my six month update on finasteride and basically I'm not that happy with it because I'm still losing hair. Especially up in this area and actually pretty much all over and especially in the front too. It seems to be falling out pretty quick. So about three weeks ago I started on minoxidil liquid and I do that twice a day and I also started taking some various vitamins that supposedly help uh, to grow hair. This is my nine month finasteride four month minoxidil update. I got a haircut about a week ago and there is some noticeable thinning. It might not be noticeable in this light but up in this area here it's noticeably thinning especially when it's wet or it depends on how the light hits it. I was taking some additional vitamins for about maybe two months and I didn't really think there was a noticeable difference but it's been about a month that I've been off of those and I might start taking up some of those again soon like Viviscal and some of the other stuff that I was taking. This is my two year finasteride update and I've been on minoxidil for about a year and a half although over the past six months or so I'd say I've kind of slacked on putting the minoxidil in. So right now in the morning I take finasteride and a Viviscal pill and I take Viviscal at night. I stopped with the other vitamins like the pumpkin seed oil and the various wax stuff um, because I wasn't really seeing that it was making a difference and it was kind of expensive. So I put the minoxidil foam in in the morning since it seems to dry quicker and at night I'll do the minoxidil liquid with a dropper. I still haven't really noticed any side effects of the finasteride and unfortunately one of the side effects doesn't seem to be growing hair because you'll see I'm still losing in the corners mostly and actually the whole entire front and some in the back. I mean in general it looks like I have a somewhat full head of hair which I guess at now I'm 42 years old so it's not that bad but it's definitely still falling out. About a year and a half ago I also tried the Hair Max laser comb for about maybe six months I think and I didn't notice any difference so I sent it back for a refund and I don't recommend it. So it's now been three years that I've been on finasteride and in about two months it'll be three years that I've been on minoxidil and I've been doing these update videos and I still haven't uploaded any of them so I'm going to finally put them all together and upload this stuff so people can actually see what my progress was and what tips I have for them. Um, I'm doing the finasteride pill in the morning and I'm also doing minoxidil foam in the morning and I try to do the minoxidil liquid at night. As you can see I'm still losing in the front and the front corners are going pretty quick. I went a few months where I wasn't doing the minoxidil as much as I should have been and I definitely noticed that I was losing but I would say overall like in the middle in the back it looks fairly decent for a 43 year old I would say to have the hair that I do. And like I said in another video I don't know exactly how much the finasteride and minoxidil have helped because there's just no way of knowing if I had not been using them what would my hair look like. But as I showed earlier I was definitely losing especially in the crown of my hair in the back when I first started finasteride and it definitely seems to have filled in somewhat. Finasteride and minoxidil don't make any claims that they can grow hair in the front. It's pretty much just the crown in the back that they say that they can help with, which I definitely have noticed an improvement in that. So I recommend doing finasteride and minoxidil as soon as you see any kind of hair loss. I still have not seen any side effects from finasteride or any of the pills that I've been taking, so I really can't say that there's any negative side effects that I've noticed with taking the pills or doing the minoxidil. Right now for shampoo, I'm switching between Bosley, Nizoral, and some tea tree oil which definitely the tea tree oil and the Bosley conditioner really seem to invigorate my scalp. One of my female coworkers said that she tried Karanique and she said that it actually helped grow some hair for her but then it stopped working. I googled to see what other people's reviews of Karanique were and they weren't very good so I did not try it. Let me know down in the comments below any kind of pills or shampoos or anything that you found helpful that might be able to help other people. Thanks.